Assalamualaikum my dear students hope you are fine by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIVS home school I am Nasima Akhtar assistant teacher of science national ideal English version school morning sheet dear students today I am going to take a science class for class 6 students dear students our today's topic is chapter 2 today we will finish reading of this chapter and also we will do CQ number 1 let's see today's topic from here Today's topic is chapter 2, part 2, reading the and CQ 1 number. And here is lecture number 5 and our SW number is also 5. So dear students, let's begin the class. Students, this is page number 16. Today we will start from lesson 3, known flowering plants. There are some plants that never bear flowers and fruits. These plants reproduce by forming spores. These plants are called non-flowering plants. This is a group of plants many of whose body is not divisible into root, stem and leaf. These plants are Thallophyta, example Spirogyra. So, Spirogyra is one kind of algae. Here is the figure of this Spirogyra. Now, come to here. This is page number 17. Again, some plants have stem and leaves, but they have no roots like plants. Instead of roots, they have rhizoid. Uh, they are green and autophytic. They grow on moist soil and old walls and wooden logs. Autophytic means they can make their own food. They are also found floating on water. Usually they grow on old walls so densely that uh, they look like a thick carpet. Example moss. Here is the picture of moss. Ferns are the most advanced form of plants among the non-flowering plants. Their body is divided into roots, stem and leaves. They grow on damp old wall and shadowy place. Example, Dekisha, fern. Here is the picture of fern. Now we will read the lesson number 4 to 6. Flowering plants. Flowers are born in flowering plants. Example, mango, jackfruit, chapla, china rose, etc. Their body can be uh, differentiated into root, stem and leaves. Some of these plants can produce fruits while some cannot. Therefore, the seeds of such plants are naked. These plants are again of two types, naked seed and the closed seed plants. They have advanced conducting tissues within their body. They are, uh, these are usually timber yielding plants. One number here is naked seed plants or gymnosperm. These plants born flowers but develop no fruit. The flowers of such plants do not have ovaries so their ovules remain naked. These ovules ultimately transform into seeds. Example pine, cycas, um, arocaria, here is the Christmas tree etc. And here is the figure of naked seed plant and seeds. Now come to here, this is page number 18 and here is lesson 7. Angiosperm plants. Mango, blackberry, palm and the most of the green plants around us are closed seed flowering plants. These plants have an ovary. The ovules are arranged within the ovary. After fertilization, the ovules turn into seeds and ov ovaries develop into fruits. For this reason, the seeds of such plants are found hidden within the fruits. And here is the picture of angiosperm plants. Now, listen. 8. Characteristics of invertebrates and vertebrates. Take a whole well-cooked fish. Take out the fish or the uh, fish gently. Uh, take out the flesh of the fish gently so that the bone remain intact. Now observe the fish bone. The hard long bone running from neck to tail is known as the vertebral column. Now try to uh, feel the middle of your back. You can. Uh, can you feel uh, the long hard bone running from your neck to the area close to your waist? This is uh, what we call vertebral column. 
depending on the presence of vertebral column uh, the animal kingdom is divided into two groups invertebrate and vertebrate fish frog birds wolf lizard cattle hum, uh, human etc have vertebral column since these animals have vertebral column they are called vertebrates on the other hand mosquito flies butterflies shrimp crabs earthworms etc are invertebrates which means these animals do not have vertebral column put the animal from the following list into two groups invertebrate and vertebrates here is the um, name uh, animal name here here is co cockroach fish chicken dog frog wall lizard earthworm mosquito cow butterfly snail starfish now you will do the uh, you will separate this vertebrate and invertebrate group by yourself now come to here lesson 9 to 10 characteristics of invertebrates and vertebrates by now you have learned about how to classify plants depending on their uh, certain characteristics like plants animal can also be classified on the basis of their characteristics we know that animals can be divided into two broad categories invertebrates and vertebrates some of the characteristics of invertebrates are invertebrates do not have vertebral columns. These animals do not have any skeleton. Their eyes are simple. Sometimes they have many small eyes gathered together into one eye, which is a compound eyes. They do not have uh, tails. Invertebrate can be of different kinds. Many of them are so tiny in size and that they cannot be seen with bare eyes. Amoeba is an example of such animal. Earthworm and leech belong to another group of animal. Their bodies are divided into many segments. Snail and oyster fall into yet another group. Their bodies are not segmented and usually covered with hard shells. They have muscular foot, butterfly, mosquito, fly, cockroach, white ant, bee, etc. are insects. In the animal kingdom, these kind of animals are the largest in number. Their body is divided into three parts, head, throats, and the abdomen. They have joint foot and compound eyes. Some of these insects are useful. They are called useful, useful insects, example bee, silk, worm, etc. On the Contrary, mosquito and a fly spread various diseases among us. Some other insects such as white ant, uh, leather uh, insect, uh, rice hispa, etc. cause damage to our houses, furniture and crops. There are some marine animals whose integument uh, is spiny. Starfish and the sea uh, archaeans uh, belong to this group. Jellyfish and the coral are different types of invertebrates. They have a body cavity cylinder. They have a single opinion uh, which is this is uh, page number 20 which is used for both intaking food and expelling of waste. The vertebrates also have some uh, distinguishing characteristics as the invertebrates have. The main characteristics of vertebrates are they have vertebral columns, skeletons within the bodies, they have wings or two pairs of appendages. Their eyes are simple ex uh, except human, all other vertebrates have tails. They respire by gills and lungs. Vertebrates can be divided into many classes on the basis on their uh, diverse characteristics all fishes belong to group named pieces. They live in water. Most of them have scales. Example, Hilcha, Ruhi, Koi, etc. However, some of them have no scales. For example, Magur, Shing, Tangra, Ball, etc. They use gills for respiration. They also have fins which they use to swing. Frogs are amphibian. They spend some parts of their life in water and some on the land. They do not have any hair, scales or feathers on integument. They have two pairs of legs. There uh, is no nail uh, on their phalanges. 
at the primary stage of their life cycle the tadpole respire by gill and at the adult stage they respire by lungs wall lizard crocodile snake uh, salamander etc are the reptiles these animals move by putting their weight on trunk they have claws on their toes lay eggs and hatch them to give birth to the young ones they respire through lungs duck chicken pigeon doyle etc fall under the class of avis their body is covered by feathers having feathers it is um, having feathers is the main identifying uh, feature of birds except birds no other animals have feathers most of the birds can fly ostrich penguin and some other birds cannot fly birds lay eggs they hatch eggs to give birth to babies now come to here this is 21 page monkey rat dog cat cow goat etc are mammals humans also fall into this class of animals mammals have hair on their body feed mother's milk to their babies and the female give birth to babies Mammals are more intelligent than fish, frog, snake and bird. Their uh, brain and bodies are well developed. Now students, uh, I have finished uh, reading of this chapter. Now I will give you CQ number 1. And here is the CQ 1. And you will uh, find this uh, question in your book page number 23. This is the CQ 1. And I have written here also. Look at here, the CQ for this CQ one here is two picture, figure A and figure B and the question A is here, what are invertebrates? Y, B number, Y is uh, toad called amphibia, explain and C number, write down the differences between the animals shown in figure A and B and B, uh, D number, discuss the importance of animal in figure, uh, in A uh, figure B. For a number question answer is here the animals which do not have vertebral column are called invertebrate and here is the B number answer toad is called amphibia because they spend some parts of their life in water and some on the land they do not have any hair scales or feather on integuments the, they have two pairs of legs there is no nail on their phalanges at the primary stage of their life cycle the tadpole respire by gill and at the adult stage they respire by lungs and here is the c number answer the organism in figure a is invertebrate and animal that figure b is vertebrate animal differences between the invertebrate and vertebrate animals are given below students you will make a differentiate table for this uh, difference and here is the figure a figure a is uh, here is invertebrate and b is for vertebrate uh, and here is the first point vertebral column is absent and uh, here is vertebral column is present Two number they they have no skeleton and the two number here is they have skeleton and the three number they have complex eyes and here is three number they do not have complex eyes and here is four number they have antennas and the four number here is they do not have antennas for invertebrate here is figure a has no tail and the uh, vertebrate here uh, five number point figure b has a tail and now d number d number answer is here animal in figure b is fish all fishes belong to group named pieces they live in water most of them have scales example hilsha rui koi etc however some of them have no scales for example mago shing tangra boal etc they use gills for respiration they also have fins which uh, they use to swim fish is a source of protein some sea fishes carries a good number of minerals and vitamin a and vitamin d some fishes are the source of iodine fish provides such nutrients and micronutrients that are essential to uh, cognitive and uh, physical development 
especially in children and are an important part of healthy diet. Nowadays, fish provides more than 1 billion poor people with most of their daily animal protein. Now, uh, students, I will give you HW. Today's HW number is 5 number HW and your HW will be CQ1 and uh, sub number will be C. Look at here. C number is here. Differentiate table. It will be your HW. So dear students, I hope you have understood today's topic. Keep practice it at home and do your SNSW in your SW copy.